Right, here we are. Hello. It's time, would you believe, to build a house. Yay! I know, crazy. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. We've been talking about, Heidi and I have been talking about living, living in community or building a house or whatever uh, for years. We went on a journey around Australia looking at people's cool houses and we've been living the downsized life for I don't know how long you know we live in our little 600 square foot place and you know we already live fairly modestly and you know well why not just go a bit smaller <laughs> well it's pretty much because we get all we can afford of course um, you know such as the nature of the uh, the time we live in most expensive uh, time for buying into a home than ever before and you know when you're a starving artist for many years and you never actually build up a savings account then it gets a bit hard to pay for a big mortgage and have a big house and stuff not that we really want that but anyways we're gonna buy build our own house anyways and it's gonna be cool <music> Well, here we are. As you can see, we're in the uh, final throes of um, packing, moving hell. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very close to D-Day, which is tomorrow. And we'll be uh, stepping out of our uh, comfy brick and mortar, you know, concrete f uh, foundation building with real walls and electricity and stuff like that handy stuff like that and we'll be moving to a place that's got none of that <laughs> canvas walls uh, makeshift water supply and sanitation and electricity powered by um, off-grid means and stuff like that so yeah we might be a little bit crazy <laughs> but uh yeah well, hopefully the the inspiration here is that um, we're going to kind of be showing that you know anybody can kind of walk away from the mainstream the norm and and kind of follow their you know adventurous side and try something different you know like uh, if if you know day in day out and working the same job and doing all that stuff doesn't work for you then well you know you can pack up stuff you can do something different and you know we're we're trying to do that we're trying to do something a bit crazy <laughs> so I'm sure we'll have a lot of ups and downs and um, possibly a lot of challenges and it's not going to be an easy ride. You know, this time next week we'll be possibly battling the elements and uh, battling space issues with uh, all of our stuff and we don't know where it all, it's all going to fit. And uh, But yeah, we'll keep you all informed on the journey and um, see what we can do uh, in terms of creating a new life. I've arrived at uh, the property at what might likely be my permanent arrival to this space. So, yes, well, the beginning of a big adventure. We got the tents up, but uh, every time I arrive, uh, this is the third straight time that I've arrived and there's been a big puddle of water inside. And now that we've got all our personal belongings and more expensive things inside, that's not great. So, but now I'm here um, to get things done. I don't have to leave. I don't have to go back and forth between our old place and, and this place. So, yeah. And uh, but of course it's a bit daunting just knowing that this is my home. <laughs> it's just permanent, my permanent structure for the time being. Anyways. Um, so yeah, lots to do. No plumbing. No electricity. No sanitation sewage as such um tents that leak um guy lines that pull out of the ground in the wind and no kitchen to speak of what else yeah anyways that's a long enough list <laughs> hopefully we'll uh, check in a little bit later and in the week and see how i'm going i hope to have quite a few of these little things uh, at least started so We'll see, but I'm here. I'm here on the property living in a tent for the next X number of months. There you go. <laughs> 